Good morning, everyone. Today's experiment is refractometer. First of all, let us see uh, what is refraction. When a beam of light passes through the interface between two different substances, uh, then this uh, phenomena of refraction occurs. The incident angle of light with, uh, with which that light uh, falls on the specimen is called the critical angle. The criti critical angle is strictly determined by the refractive index of their two substances. Refractive index is, the defi is defined as the ratio of the speed of light in empty space to the speed of light in the substance. For this, uh, for uh, determining the refractive index, we'll be using today refractometer. It is an instrument that uses above principles to measure refractive index. The refractometer works on the principle of light refraction through liquids. Whenever the light uh, passes through a liquid sample, it experiences a bend in its path. This is this phenomena is called refraction. As light passes from air into the liquid, liquid it uh, slows down. It means the speed with which it travels, the speed slows down. This phenomena is is what gives a bent look to subjects that are partially submerged in water, as you can observe in the picture shown here. The more dissolved solids water contains, slower light travels through it and more pronounced the bending effect on light. Refractometers uses this principle to determine the amount of dissolved solids in liquids by passing light through a sample and showing the refracted angle on a scale. Now let us see the working of refractometer. Refractometer uh, constitutes of a prism. A prism in the refractometer has a greater refractive index than the solution what we are going to examine. Measurements are read at the point where prism and solution meet. With a low concentration solution, the refractive index of the prism is much greater than that of the sample, creating a large refraction and a low reading. The, re and the reverse would happen with a when a uh, uh, solution with high concentration is examined. The scale used in the in this uh, experiment is called the Briggs scale. The Briggs scale is defined as the number of grams pure cane sugar, that is sucrose, dissolved in 100 grams of pure water. There are three uh, scales show, shown here. First one is empty, that is the, there is no solution used. Then in the second one, the, it is set to zero. It means the uh, solution that we are examining is water. And when it further uh, further reduces, it means that we are examining the solution which has much higher concentration than water. Today we will be using digital refractometers. They automatically measure the refractive index of the sample. It is also based on the determination of the critical angle. In this instrument, an LED light source is imaged under a wide range of angles onto a prism surface that is present in the refractive uh, refractometer. And uh, this prism surface is in contact with the sample. Depending on the difference in the refractive index between prism material and sample, light is partially, partially transmitted or totally reflected. Here, light from an LED passes through the prism in contact with the sample. An image sensor is also present here. It determines the critical angle at which the light is no longer refracted through the sample. There is a ray diagram shown here in which all the components of the refractometer are mentioned. There is a lens there's a prism, there's a light source that is LED, there's a sample well, and the image sensor. There are three types of measurements that can be done through refractometer. First is ND for refractive index. Second one is ND20 for temperature compensated refractive index. And uh, the uh, last one is BRI that is for percentage bricks. 
There are multiple uses of refractometer. It is all. It is used in alcohol industry for measuring the specific gravity before the fermentation process to determine the amount of sugar present in the alcohol. It is also used used in veterinary sciences for your measurement of proteins in the blood, measurement of urine weight. It is also used in human medicine for measuring specific gravity of uh, human urine. Uh, it is used for measuring the sugar in aqueous solutions, for identifying and characterizing the quality of gems, and also in the uh, and also in measuring the freezing point of battery cooling fluids in autom uh, automotive industry. There are several precautions that we should keep in mind while handling the instrument. First, accurate measurement depends on careful calibration. The freeze when sample must be at the same temperature for accurate results. The refractometer should not be exposed to the damp working conditions and also uh, the abrasive or uh, corrosive materials should not be used the, as it can uh, corrode the uh, sensor part. The instrument should be properly cleaned between each experiment using a soft or damp cloth. This is an optical instrument so it uh, requires careful handling and storage. Today we will be analyzing uh, these samples.